Hello Aquarians, welcome to your December 2021 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings. Please like, subscribe and share, really, really important. Right, so what we're going to do, we will loosely divide the video into a little sections here so it's easier uh, for us to look into things and for you to understand it. Um, and what we will do is we will first look at the overall energy for your star sign of Aquarius for the month of December. We look at the overall energy for the month of December. What is it the guides want you to actually look at, right? Then we will go into the next um, area of the reading which is all about your emotional core and this could be about emotional turmoil this could be about um maybe healing that needs to happen emotional healing this could also be about trauma and or it could just be about love which is all related because nothing ever thrives in isolation if that makes sense right and then lastly we will look at your opportunities whatever is coming to you right anything to you know, to tweak your life a little, because most of the time when the guides talk about opportunities, um, it oftentimes is related to whatever it is that sustains you financially. Okie dokie, shall we do this? Awesome. Here we go. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December for the star sign of Aquarius. Oh, and by the way, if you do like my work, you can now support me financially by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas the overall energy is interesting to say the least you have the tomahawk you have the crow and you have the sacred tree right the one in the middle is the crow and the one in the middle is the most important energetically because it is surrounded by the other two and yet we're taking it from left to right, but spend a bit more time on the one in the middle, which in your case is the crow. It starts off with the tomahawk. An interesting thing to start the energy off, especially for the months that um, is all about festivities and people lose themselves. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, family members are valued again. <laughs> you have the tomahawk. What they're asking you this month is to look at the relationships you have or had had English with people and bury the hatchet. Anything that no longer serves you, anything that still sits with you weirdly, um, you are asked to let that go. Because if the energy of other people, whether or not they're in your life or not, um, has stopped serving you, has stopped fulfilling you, it is time to let that go and it seems important because the guides are not saying it is time to make changes they're asking you to let that go while burying the hatchet doesn't necessarily imply that the energy here is the energy of a blade right speaking of the tomahawk of a blade coming down cutting away what you no longer need right so be mindful of how many chances you actually have given people and situations because there's a good, uh, good likelihood that it wasn't worth it, right? The middle animal that you have, the one in the middle, the one that is the most important, is the crow. The crow is all about magic, right? So see things always from your highest spiritual point of view, but it's also about transformation. That's what the crow really is for. And what that really means is when you start learning that not everybody deserves to be in your energy and that carrying the energy of past events with you, even if you're trying to keep them in there so you can protect yourself, the crow says in order for you to transform, in order for you to change, in order for you to reach a different state of being, a state of being where you are more acknowledged and where you are just by default a little bit more um, at ease, right? That can only happen when you let go of stuff that literally shouldn't be there. So again, they're, they're just highlighting it. Ultimately, with regards to the overall energy for the month of December, for the star sign of Aquarius, you have the sacred tree. And all they're saying is you're not in the right place. 
while not everything has fallen into place yet, and while there are elements that you find apparently, energetically speaking, difficult to uh, connect with, if that makes sense, at this point in time, right? At this point in time, for, for the month of December, you're not in the wrong place. There's something about you being in a location, and they're making this about a location, where there is still something you ought to um, experience there, right? So December, therefore, is not the best month um, to make major changes with regards to moves. And should you have to move, you know, if you already put things in motion and, on, and then you need to move and then you come across this video, there's a reason, <laughs> um, then make sure you understand that you will take some of the stuff you haven't learned to the new location because that's how it, how it works. You, you cannot outrun your learning curves, right? And yet, should you not, uh, should you not move um, or not even thinking about it, but you feel like I'm not so sure if this is the right place, I'm not sure. Um, the message here clearly is, and this is the over energy, this, this does not re, re, this, this does not necessarily apply to work. Because my feeling is we're talking about that in your opportunities, there's something here. Um, but don't want to jump the gun. Ultimately, wherever you are right now, there's a reason why you're there. There is no coincidence and you're there um, for a specific experience. And all the guides are saying is for December at least, um, try to make the best of it and, and try to enjoy yourself while you're in that location. Okie dokie, here we go. That was the overall energy for the star sign of Aquarius in the month of December 2021. Now we're moving on to your emotions, uh, emotional coil, emotional core, um, and we'll just see what they got for you, right? Right. Not an easy energy at all. This is not about trauma this is not about old pain this is literally for those who well, it is partly about old pain this is literally for you aquarians that are in relationships or if you are in between stages you're still carrying stuff from the old relationship or old relationships even with you that doesn't serve you Right. Here's what the, hunt, what, what the guides are saying. You have the hunter of death, the ancestor of exile, and the spirit of wisdom. <clears throat> the ancestor of exile is the one in the middle, which makes it the most important, but we will get there. The opening energy for your emotional core is the hunter of death. And the hunter of death literally just means, look at what has to end. Are you... And it sounds wrong. Are you being stringed along somewhere? Is somebody stringing you along but doesn't really commit? And you don't quite know where you are in that relationship. That has to come to an end. The hunter of death clearly signifies that you are, or you ought to at least, assess where you are at with regards to your relationships, the intimate ones, and let stuff go that last that doesn't serve you. So if this is about you when you're not in a relationship, then what that really means is that you're carrying stuff with you, right? Baggage that you will bring into the next relationship. While this is not uncommon, uh, right? And the other party will very likely have have baggage too. What they're saying to you is the resentment of of for want of a better word that you're carrying, or maybe the pain, maybe the worry that this could happen again, will manifest. Again, because it is in the forefront of your thinking. And if you haven't learned a lesson, the universe has no other option than to send you someone to trigger that. So if you are still affected by something, then you have to literally decide to let that go and allow yourself to start over. Right? The main feeling that I'm getting here is, uh, energetically speaking, remember this is, this is a general reading, so I know... Um, it might not necessarily resonate with all of you. And my, my, my feeling is also here that <clears throat> while we're separating this into areas, there might be an area here 
that is absolutely you and in the next area is less you if that makes sense right it's just the way this works <coughs> my feeling here is that this is for people who who deal with their relationships as they happen in front of their eyes and you have the, you have the ancestor of exile in the middle after the hunter of death right remember strong word you know letting 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 things go that do no longer serve you you have the ancestor of exile exile again means to be somewhere very likely on your own to reflect and think about situations and ancestry obviously means that for some time you looked at whether or not this is this is worth having the main energy that i'm getting the main thing that bothers you aquarians because you are the star sign of friendships and while relationships especially intimate ones go above and beyond that unless you have a proper friendship to begin with your relationship might not work either right and the answer of exile really means for you to realize um, that you sometimes have to also um, detach yourself a little so you can make you can make um, you can assess the situations easier and make changes and decisions easier by just detaching yourself ultimately your outgoing energy for your emotional core is the spirit of wisdom whatever it is you're looking at you have been dealing with this for quite some time you know what you need to do the wisdom is inside you so focus on why this is so difficult well likely it is so difficult because you feel something for the people or for their person but would you advise your best friend to be in a relationship like like yours if the answer is no you got your answer right because energetically speaking this is not about tweaking things this is about saying i've been watching this for a long time right and maybe to no no fault of your own or just situational things haven't been dealt with and it is important as we're moving into a new year um, because our brain is sort of you know that's how, how our brain works you always have these new new year resolutions which oftentimes make no sense right if you wanted to lose weight right why did you why do you have to wait for january oh because it's christmas and want to eat cake right if you really wanted to lose weight and you have no medical condition <coughs> um, that that makes that difficult for you right put the work in right start with something do stretching exercises you know go running do something but don't wait for a date that that all of a sudden makes it, oh yeah 2022 i have to do this right you don't have to do anything you just have to look at what you're not comfortable with what does bother you and put the work in and i say that to aquarians because you are doers really really important but my feeling is <coughs> that you also want to end the year on a high and you won't end it on a high if you carry stuff that clearly isn't working with you the reason why it feels easier to do that is because at least you can say to someone you know happy christmas and a happy new year and much love all that kind of stuff it is easier than ending something in december the months where uh, the people who aren't fortunate enough if that makes sense to have someone in their life that clearly loves them and you know there is no together and especially in, in december especially now that everybody um sort of focuses on their unit and their family and you know festivities for those of us who don't have that it can be a time of great loneliness and therefore i'm not knocking it but the message of from the guides for you in the month of december uh because obviously they highlighted the new year and resolutions and all that kind of stuff the outgoing energy is the spirit of wisdom and that means that you know what is and isn't working and they're asking you to not carry stuff with you that simply isn't for you and you may find it difficult to say to someone you know um, we've been talking about this for a long time and i don't understand why we're not coming together here but we're not and i'm better than that if that makes sense right that's what i'm hearing take it or leave it medium means the guy in the middle i only work here <laughs> right let's look at opportunities as they come to you final part of your reading um you're watching energy and star sign readings with myself thomas janak please like subscribe and share 
And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com medium Thomas. Let's look into your opportunities with regards to <coughs> what sort of sustains you, um, mostly financially. That's, that's normally how they work. Um, and let's have a look. You have the timber owl, sorry, the timber wolf, timber owl. You have the timber wolf and the snowy owl, right? Both animals um, are, are found in colder regions. And so, therefore, anything that has to do with wherever it is you work, and should you work on your own, then that's something to look at as well, because things have gotten a bit frosty, right? And I don't see a defrost button here. Right? So, again, it's for you to step back and say, okay, so ooh, this isn't really working all that well. In order for, for you to manifest opportunities, your energy has to be high enough so that they can actually come to you. What I'm getting from the two snowy landscapes here, right, because I show you, you have the timber wolf. Beautiful, isn't it? And the snowy owl. It's incredible because I can't I can't draw uh, at all, and these depictions are really beautiful. Anyway, back to the reading. You have the timber wolf. The timber wolf is by default a bit more timid than the grey wolf is, and it is possibly because you are being timid um, with regards to um, kicking ass in your work life that things come to you slowly right that is something you need to change uh, basically speaking up and if you work on your own then say like, you know what what is it i really want to do and you say to the guys well help me find uh, um you know the the focus that i need so i can find what is for me at this point in time and you have the snowy owl as the outgoing energy for your opportunities and the snowy owl is literally saying to you <coughs> that somehow you are not really ready to um, receive a lot of opportunities because somehow it feels like you're burdened by the reality of what it is you do for a living. Should you be self-employed and you absolutely love your job, it still feels to me that there might be an area that you want to explore, but you find it difficult to initially... Um, find customers for that sort of stuff remember energy has to travel first you really have to put the work in first so i'm just making up as a picture if you are a person that makes um, a lot of um, oils and scents and stuff right um you have to do all of that first and only when they really exist and you have smelled them and you feel like wow are they awesome that's when your energy of thinking this is a great product can carry what doesn't work for you is to say like, so which ones would you like so that you only make them when you have orders? I know it's just a scenario. It's just the way I'm trying to explain this to you. Um, but anything that is half baked isn't working for you. And the snowy owl is the animal that says, you know, at this point in time for the months of December, uh, for the for the star sign of Aquarius, um, there's a part of you that isn't ready. Um for opportunities, and I think it's obviously uh, um, an, an, an energy blockage thing. Um, so be kind to yourself. Try to hire your energy, maybe by listening to a song that you listen to when you had no care in the world. You know, it's always good when you remember, oh, when I was 15, I loved that song, right? Ask Alexa to play it, or Google it, or YouTube it, and dance about it. Hires your energy no end. Anyway. My dear Aquarians, that was your general reading for the month of December 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please, 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 you would do me a massive, massive favor if you could like, share and subscribe so that we can reach more people, especially the sharing of the video is really important. Anyway, thank you very much. See you all in the new year. Bye-bye.